guys, welcome back to another one on Glamour Gadgets and Gaming by Leah. And launched just minutes ago, here we have the latest smartphone from Poco. And if you haven't already guessed it, it is the much anticipated Poco M4 Pro 5G. Not only is it priced under £200, just like the Pixel 6 series, it boasts a 50 megapixel AI main camera. It also boasts a massive 5000 milliamp battery and up to one terabyte expandable storage and so much more good stuff. And I shot this video just over a week ago um, when I received these goodies here in front of me. And in this video, I'll be sharing a quick what's in this very intriguing briefcase, what's in the box, detailed specs and features, a couple of camera, gaming, Wi-Fi speed and streaming tests, plus Antutu 2 and Geek Benchmark scores. And a brief camera comparison between the 50 megapixel main camera sensor on the Poco M4 Pro 5G and the Google Pixel 6 Pro. Guys, we'll summarize the video with Leah's pros and niggles. Is this phone worth it? and my final thoughts. And last but not least, guys, I'll check out and reveal what Paco has also sent me in this rather large yellow box here in front of me. I've left the link for the phone in the description box below for you guys to check out in more detail. So firstly, the briefcase, it's quite solid and heavy. Um, Paco has sent me the passcode to it. So here's me opening this for the first time so guys I honestly don't know what to expect in the briefcase we'll do this together and are you ready okay and here it is guys the Poco M4 Pro 5G okay it's a nice handy briefcase put that away And ladies and gents, this is everything you can expect to receive in the Poco M4 Pro 5G box. So we have a SIM eject tool, a rubber silicon case, which is always handy. We have a warranty card, a quick start guide and safety information. Some very fancy Poco stickers. Everything you need and nothing you don't. Awesome. A USB type C charging cable and a much welcomed 33 watts power adapter. And this very attractive looking Poco M4 Pro 5G smartphone, which boasts MediaTek Dimensity 810 with dual 5G and a 6 nanometer processor, 33 watts Pro fast charging, and a 5000 milliamp battery, dual speakers. We have a 6.6 inch 90 hertz dynamic switch dot display, and a 50 megapixel AI main sensor with a 16 megapixel front camera. Check out that blue. Ooh. Have to pay attention to what's in your hand. Perhaps you should read it aloud. <laughs> oh, I really love that colour. So nice. It's a very different kind of blue. So this is the cool blue colour. It's a nice matte finish. And I have the 6GB RAM, 128GB ROM model in my hand. The Poco M4 Pro comes in three fantastic MS Series classic colours. The Poco Yellow, Power Black and the one in my hand, the Cool Blue, which definitely is my favourite out of the three. Measuring at 8.75mm thick, it weighs around 195 grams. It's made of plastic with a fairly solid build and it's light in weight and definitely looks and feels good in the hand. On the right, we have two slim buttons, which consist of a volume rocker and the power button, which is integrated with the fast and responsive fingerprint sensor. The fingerprint sensor is very responsive. Check that. And on the left, we have a dual SIM card tray. Now the Poco M4 Pro supports dual 5G LTE nano SIM cards. And guys, we have an option to expand the storage up to one terabyte via a micro SD card. And at the top, we have a mic, an IR blaster, and one top firing speaker. And at the bottom, we have the second speaker here and both speakers output decent audio quality. So what you're trying to say is 
realize that you fell here from another world? Also at the bottom guys we have a USB type C port, a mic and an always much welcomed 3.5mm headphone jack. Now although I hardly ever use it now, I'm not sure why guys but it just makes me happier to see it on a smartphone. And here at the back guys we have the camera setup. Oh I'm quite liking this. So here's the camera bump with the Poco branding just there on the side. Nice matte finish um, and it is plastic, it's not. It's definitely not glass. So we have a 50 megapixel main sensor and an 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor. And here at the front we have a 16 megapixel selfie camera and here we have the earpiece guys. Now guys, we'll look at the cameras, some photo and video samples in more detail shortly. So we have MIUI 12.5 with Android 11 on top. So I've got 128 gigabytes of storage of which 23.5 gigabytes has been occupied. I've not yet downloaded any of my personal apps and games, etc. And here at the front presented with a nice 6.6 .6 inch full HD plus dot display with 2400 by 1080 resolution and 450 nits typical. The display combines 90 hertz refresh rate and has this feature called the dynamic switch display, which merely means you can switch between 50, 60 and 90 hertz refresh rate. And you also have up to 240 hertz touch sampling rate, which allows for impressive sensitivity control and lower latency for a very responsive responsive screen. The IPS display is large, smooth, fairly bright with slim noticeable bezels going all the way around and has Corning Gorilla Glass 3 protection. The overall performance of this phone is impressive for a mid-ranger thanks to the MediaTek Dimensity 810 6nm processor, octa-core CPU, Arm Mali G57 MC2 GPU, LP DDR4 RAM plus UFS 2.2 storage and guys the Android 11 OS with MIUI 12.5 on top. Check that guys. GGG by Leah. That's awesome. That's what I call gameplay. <laughs> 10 kills. And Poco's tagline, power up your fun, makes so much sense. The Poco M4 Pro 5G sure offers fast visuals and overall smooth experience. The dynamic switch feature automatically matches the content you are viewing for power efficiency between 90, 60 and 50 Hz. This assists in a longer lasting battery while saving power. And now talking of battery guys, although it does not support wireless charging, this little fella here packs a beastie 5000 milliamp battery and supports 
33 watts pro fast charging via this much appreciated 33 watt inbox charger and guys you can expect to charge this phone from 0 to 100% in around an hour. With all the power combined, the Poco M4 Pro 5G allows for a pleasant gaming, streaming and browsing experience and lots of power efficiency. No mercy. Where is it? Where is who? Your boss. My boss. Clearly, you don't know me. Whilst testing the phone, I have found that the battery from 100% charge lasted me around a day and sometimes more. And this with a bit of casual gaming, downloading a couple of apps, casual browsing, a bit of social media, some streaming, a couple of calls and snapping some pictures and videos now and then. And after hours of fun, putting the phone to the full test and unlike some of the flagships out there, I am happy to say that I've not experienced any noticeable lag or slowdown and especially not any heat up issues on this phone. Unlike a very recent flagship I've been playing with, which feels warm or sometimes even hot to touch, even with a little gaming, browsing, streaming, etc. And moving on to the camera, the 50 megapixel AI main sensor sure stood out to me, especially as I'm all praises for the 50 megapixel AI main sensor on my favourite Pixel 6 Pro. And guys, I had to do a quick comparison between the two just to ensure the two were on the level. You guys check it out for yourselves. Here we have some pictures taken on the 50 megapixel main sensors on both the Poco M4 Pro 5G and the Pixel 6 Pro smartphones. And there's no denying guys, the Pixel 6 Pro is killing it and is offering far better quality shots, whilst the Poco M4 Pro is slightly grainier and slightly blurred at times. But guys, here's me comparing a flagship smartphone to a budget slash mid-ranger. And, and I kind of feel that this is an unfair comparison. And here's more taken on the 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Again, it's offering some decent shots. And some more pictures taken on the Poco M4 Pro 5G smartphone in the daytime, low light and nighttime. The 16 megapixel front camera is decent too, offering some great panorama selfies. And guys, as for the video, it records in 1080p at 60 frames per second max and the quality is fairly decent and what you can expect from a 1080p video recording. We also have an option of slow motion, time lapse, night mode, etc. And guys, on that note, check out some night videos I've shot en route to my local chippy. Again, these are slightly grainy with a lot of noise and blur. Not flagship quality, but definitely decent for a budget to mid range smartphone. Okay, guys, so I've just um, popped out for a bit. It's around seven in the evening. It's pretty dark. I'm just checking out the video quality in low light or in the dark um, and the stability of it. Just a very quick test, very quick walking test in the dark. <laughs> and it is raining a little bit too. I'll put it away because it's not waterproof. And now moving on to Leah's pros and niggles and beginning with the pros. We sure have a powerful chipset. Up to one terabyte expandable storage is fantastic. 5000 milliamp battery allows for plenty of juice and sometimes takes me into the next day with the phone which is awesome. 33 watt fast charging and charger included is super fast and again much welcomed. A 50 megapixel main sensor competes with the Pixel 6 Pro and although it's not as good as it, it sure isn't too bad either. We have NFC, a headphone jack, no noticeable lag or slowdown and I've not experienced any heat up on the phone. And guys, it's priced under £200 or $200 and it does not break the bank and gives us a decent mid-ranger with some flagship specs. So what more can we ask for guys? 
And now let's move on to the niggles. Now we have no IP rating, no wireless charging, it's a plasticky build and guys expect to receive the usual MIUI bloatware. Now guys, this isn't a flagship smartphone. I'm not expecting it to be a flagship smartphone at £200. And overall, the Poco M4 Pro 5G, in my experience and my opinion, is a nice looking smartphone with a decent build and display. It packs a massive battery and offers power, great performance and hours of uninterrupted fun and joy and offers everything most mid-rangers are expected to, especially in its price range. I've enjoyed browsing, streaming, some good old gaming on this phone, it's fast and responsive and so far a perfect mid-ranger with some flagship specs and features and it's priced under £200 and it's probably one of the best in this price range. I'd say it's a perfect mid-ranger for those on a budget. So guys, what are your thoughts on the Poco M4 Pro 5G smartphone? Are you impressed? Were you expecting better? Is it on your to buy list? Do let me know in the comments below. And before you go guys, if you want to see what goodies Poco has sent me in this very large yellow box, be sure to follow me on at ggg underscore by underscore Leah on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. And I'll be sure to share all the good stuff there via posts and stories. And for now guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have, do let me know by hitting that like button. Feel free to comment, share and subscribe. Hit that bell icon too and follow me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram to be notified of my upcoming videos, giveaways, etc. That's me done for now guys. Take care. Stay safe. Bye.